Hello guys, so today I'm going to explain you this problem uh, LCN to power k and this is from the light circuit. This is the third problem. So we are given three integers n, m and k and total n such integers uh, a1 to an and what we need to find is the LCM of a1 to the power k, a to the power k up to an to the power k. So all these numbers LCM modulo, modulo by m. So yeah, where LCM is the least common multiple. Let's quickly look at the constraints. So we have t test cases which can be up to uh, 10 and also yeah n can be as big as 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 5 m and k can be up to 10 to the power 9 and each value can it's, it's each value itself can be as big as uh, a million so for example here we have 5 20 and 3 so 5 is the number of elements 20 is i guess m yeah and k is the power so basically what we need to do is we need to find the lcm of this uh, 17 to the power 3, 2 to the power 3, 9 to the power 3, 5, 4 to the power 3, 12 to the power 3 and then once we get the LCM we need to take a modulo here and then that would be the answer. So let me explain you my approach here. So yeah let me the same uh, example that we are given in the problem statement so yeah let me explain you here. So for now what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, ignore the k here that means uh, we, we think that uh, we are supposed to only take the LCM of all these numbers and then the modulo with the given M. We will come back to uh, the case when we also need to take power and then we need to uh, take the LCM and modulo again after that. So how can we solve this one? So one common mistake that we can uh, follow here is that we can try to think it in the similar way that we do for multiplication and uh, addition that we can try to get the LCM of two numbers and then take a modulo and then with the result of that we can try to take the LCM with the rest uh, with the next one and then take a modulo but uh, that approach won't work here you can try it out uh, with this uh, or smaller numbers and you can you will see the difference in the results if you take the LCM first and then get the modulo and if you try to take the modulo at each step by taking two numbers LCM and then taking the modulo with the next number. So yeah, uh, as uh, yeah, so basically what, what we are going to do is we are uh, try to find out how efficiently we can find the LCM here for all these numbers and then we try to see how we can take the modulo with all these numbers in the end. So. So to consider this, uh, let me just explain you how uh, LCM ca uh, can be found for any given number of elements. So basically what we need to do is we need to consider all the prime factorization of each number and we need to find the powers of each prime factors here. So basically for 17, because 17 itself is uh, a prime number, so there is only one, uh, yeah, the prime factorization of 17 looks like this and for 2 it's also something like this for uh, 9 we have uh, prime factorization as 3 raised to the power 2 for 4 we have 2 raised to the power 2 and for 12 we have 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 1 so with the basic math information what we know here is the LCM would be LCM for uh, all these numbers would be the maximum. So if we consider each prime, then they are going to be contribu contributing to the LCM. And hence, uh, we only need to consider these prime numbers. Now the pro uh, the point is which uh, power we can we need to choose. So because we are considering the least common multiple, so we are going to consider the prime with uh, the power which is bigger biggest power for each prime. So for example if we are going to consider 2 then we will see what was the biggest power that we have out of all these numbers and that is 2 raised to the power 2 so basically for 2 this uh, the power that we will consider here would be 2 and then the next prime that we'll, we can think is 3 and what will be the biggest power for this one so we have seen that biggest power is here so for 3 it is uh, 2 then the next uh, prime that we have is 17 and for 17 we only have 1 and so the biggest power that we have will is this one so the LCM would be 
basically 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 17 for all these numbers all right uh, i think this is not moving let me write it here so yeah and now that we know that this is what our lcm going to look like so what we can simply do is we can we can simply store each prime and their powers and then uh, to find the modulo m which would be 20 in our case so what we can just simply do is we can just follow the same approach that we do we can try to find the yeah first we need to find the a raised to power n this is uh, let's call this a and n is 2 here modulo p that is uh, modulo m so we can use binary exponential method to find this number and then we can just keep on uh, doing modulo at each step once we find another number and we can multiply this one by taking the modulo this for this number let's call this one a1 n1 and here it will be a2 n2 and the modulo is with the same m and similarly once we have done this for all the all the numbers all the primes here then in the end we can take the whole model itself all right so yeah this is how it, it's gonna look like and if you look closely here the thing that we missed in the beginning is that we we said that we will consider it later was the part that uh, we need to take care of taking uh, yeah power of uh, i mean each number to the power k which we can simply multiply here so this power would be simply kn this would be kn and and to kn1 kn2 and for each prime similarly for whatever the power that we have got for each prime we will just multiply that power by k so yeah i think uh, i was able to explain to you guys this one and let me just quickly show you how we can code this how we can uh, find all the prime factors efficiently and store them and then do this binary exponential exponentiation so yeah this is what my code looks like first i have used c of eratosthenes method to find the shortest prime factor i can share a link uh, for the people who don't know about this method and this is generally used to find the prime uh, prime numbers uh, up to a given range um, I, I just slightly modified that one to store the uh, shortest prime factor for each number up to the million and then here I uh, I am uh, using the binary exponentiation exponentiation method to find uh, power of in any given number uh, for like for given a and what what's the power that we need to calculate and then for any given modulo and then simply for each number here what I'm doing is I'm trying to find all the prime factors of this one and then trying to kind uh, also keeping the count of the number of times this prime factor incurs in this number occurs in this number and then I'm storing this in a temporary map then what in the end we need to as we we seen here that what we need to do is we need to find the maximum of each powers uh, the for each uh, for each prime factor we are storing the maximum power that we can get out of all these numbers and that's why I am trying to uh, store the max uh, and, and and yeah we are storing that particular information in this max map where uh, for each number i'm just storing what's the maximum power that we have till now then in the end i'm just uh, as i said what we need to do we need to find the power for this prime factor and this is the number of times this power occurs and then uh, as i described here that we need to in fact take uh, take into account the k as well and we need to multiply this one with the number of times that power occurred and this uh, this uh, prime factor occurred and then this modulo m so yeah uh, this uh, i hope i was able to explain you guys properly please let me know in the comment section below if you have any comments or any feedback for me i would be happy to know about that thanks for watching this video guys